son to dad. Hey, I just got a part in the school play. I play a married man. He's been married 25 years. Father to son. Very good. Maybe next time you'll get a speaking part. <laughs> 1976 in Canada. I remember 1976. Ah! Pierre Trudeau, he was the first commie kind of leader that Canada ever had. And he said, hey, we can't have capital punishment anymore. It's a bad thing. Oh, we hurt all those poor little criminal guys. Let's have a vote. The large majority of Canadian citizens wanted to retain, keep, and use capital punishment. They did. I think it was like 75, maybe even 78 percent. And he ordered the members of the parliament, you vote against this bill and you will be turfed. And they did. They did what they were told, a whole bunch of little robots. And so it began, right? So capital punishment was gone. Eleven years later, under a conservative government, Brian Mulroney, then prime minister, had a vote again with all of his people and said, let's see, maybe we can get it back. I remember that very clearly. I think it was Joe Clark. I think he had the riding of yellow head or something in, in Alberta. And he went out and polled the people, as did other people. Ninety percent of all the people said, we want capital punishment. He voted against it. And when asked why, he said, it's my conscience. What a jerk. <laughs> You're supposed to work for the people. If I've got that correct with my memory cells here, I think I do with regards to the percentages and the writing and all of that, but I do stand to be corrected. That's a long time ago. And I got an old mind. Hey, all Americans, all Americans have the right to vote. You got it? Except the majority of the Democrat large voting bloc, which is felons, illegal immigrants, and dead people. <laughs> the nation's largest teachers group, this is in the U.S. of A., the largest union, teachers union, now have publicly stated this. We are going to implement critical race theory in all 50 states, and it's going to be impossible to fire teachers for teaching critical race theory. We're going to create a multi-million dollar slush fund to sue districts and states. If they get in our way, we're going to conduct opposition research and enemies of critical state. <sighs> Schools now must teach. All the kids, according to them, this far left thing, this propaganda, they have this crazy agenda which really makes kids hate America and hate each other, judge each other, hate each other only if they're white, to judge each other on their color and, and by their race. It's a lot of stake here. I mean, right versus wrong. There's a lot of stake. There's no room in our classrooms in anywhere, whether it be America, Canada, the UK, pick a country for things like this critical race theory, you know, bias and privilege and white supremacy. I mean, Marx has said this. He said, oh, Marx, I should say, the Marxist theory was, is let's go into the schools and brainwash the kids and we'll kind of work our way up. And it's going to be a long process, but we'll get there. And it seems to be working. You know what? Uh, hopefully it, it'll be stopped by all the people on the right. And, and they've sure got a big job these days. They being the elected people on the right. San Francisco, you got the mayor there. He's another left wing wacko. And he says, thefts are down. What's the problem here? I heard 40% of all of you people want to leave my city and so on. But hey, it's a great place. Everything is fine. Nobody steals much anymore. <laughs> but retailers continue to close everywhere. And, and he's such a biased kind of idiot, right? But of course, they're not stealing as much because there's not as many stores to steal from. And up to, I think, it's 900 and some odd dollars. It's considered to be legal to steal. So he's not bringing that into the stats or into the equation. So, you know, what goes in with information comes out is stupid. Hey, <laughs> and there you have Newsom talking about stupid. Still, he'd be the governor of California. And he had this lawsuit I talked about last week with his issue, right? He wants his name or beside his name on this upcoming election thing, this recall ballot. He wants to have the word Democrat. Many people in California don't even know he's a Democrat. I mean, what else could he be, right? Comedy, I guess. And, and it's important, apparently, to, to have your party beside your name, right? And he's not allowed to have that. And he sued for that right to get it back. He signed this into law, by the way. <laughs> and, and then he's the one that omitted, forgot, screwed up. And he went to court and the court said, no, you can't now. So now he's pretty upset. What will California voters do in September? Well, we hope that with or without that, they turf the guy. The NRA annual meeting in Houston, Texas, has a fashion show each and every year. It's called the Concealed Carry Fashion Show. We show you what you can't see. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I've been to some of those fashion shows and they really are cool. And I carry, of course, in the U.S. of A. everywhere I go. And, and I've not murdered anybody recently. And most people haven't. 
if not all people. It's interesting because the people that carry a firearm for work, they're entitled, like police and the Brinks guards and the criminals. You know, it's their job, so they're entitled to do it without going through the licensing program. Whereas guys like me, we got to go and, and pay and, and learn and have a classroom thing. Blah, blah. And, and, uh, but then you get to carry a firearm to protect yourself against people animals when you're hiking, which I do a lot of, and, you know, it's just kind of a neat thing. I think there's, what, 5 million NRA members, and not one of them murdered anybody yesterday. Hey, just sharing information with you. Prayer, prayer. When you pray, it is the original wireless communication. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.